Hello everyone, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be bringing you some tips for computer science majors. And computer science has really gr grown in popularity over the uh, last couple of years, especially with the uh, TikTok presence of how um, you can do this major and make six figures and not have to worry about money. So th this presentation will essentially provide tips and best practices for uh, computer science majors. So first you want to choose a specialization. So when you're getting your computer science degree, you don't have to necessarily go into one of the four uh, specific fields here. Um, you can just go into regular software development, but these are basically the specializations for it. Um, so I'll break down each one briefly, just so you have a brief understanding of it. And if you already know um, what these are, you can skip ahead, move to the other sections. But uh, basically the first one is data science. So what, as a data scientist, what you'll be doing is analyzing and interpreting complex data to basically um, figure out future outcomes of certain things. Um, so, for example, if you had, let's say, data for uh, flights, okay, you have data for specific flights, and you can see that, hey, if 100 of these flights have been, um, 100 of these flights have been delayed, then you can obviously infer that the 101st flight will also be delayed in the same day. So that's kind of like a simple example, not, not really the best example, but um, yeah. And then cybersecurity, it's to protect against cyber attacks and secure computer networks. Essentially, you'll be um, helping uh, decode a lot of stuff. Uh, a simple example of cybersecurity in action is like uh, you have a hacker and you can... Uh, you have binary and decimal, so you can convert binary to decimal and then decimal to binary, um, something like that, or um, look at different types of codes. And then uh, you also have artificial intelligence, which is huge right now. Um, it's basically to develop intelligent machines and algorithms capable of um, doing tasks that Otherwise, you would need a human for. So essentially, uh, chat GPT is artificially uh, intelligent, meaning it's not a real person. But if you keep feeding it um, stuff, then eventually it'll get to the point where it can do that stuff for you. And we've really seen that taken off with chat GPT and Bard. And then game development is where you create games from scratch to find a product and then to entertain and captivate audiences with that game. So I'm not really going to go a, a whole ton into this, but yeah. Then you want to, uh, when you're starting out, say you're a freshman or sophomore, you want to build the strong foundations, meaning focus on the fundamental concepts. Um, such as programming concepts, algorithms, and data structures. So you might think the lower level classes aren't really that helpful, but that's basically the foundation for anything. And if you understand the foundations for every single language, then it will be incredibly easy for you to pick up another language and dominate with it. You'll know exactly what to do because you already know the foundations. And then you also want to stick to fundamentals. So if there's an easier way to do something, take that easy way, even if it's simple, rather than making things complex. You also want to develop the technical skills. Now, I said you needed the fundamentals, but the fundamentals won't get you anywhere if you don't know how to actually do something. So what I recommend is um, you have to know more than one uh, language more than one programming language to be really efficient and if you want the 
the two that I recommend on learning or the three that I recommend learning is Java, Python, and JavaScript. The rest are helpful, but I think these three uh, will maximize your chances of landing a job. And then um, the best way to learn a programming language is probably through YouTube or through um, a free course. And then if that course gives out a certificate as well, like Solo Learn or Code Academy, then definitely um, better because you can add that to your resume or LinkedIn and really pop off, shine that way. And then as far as tools and technologies go, uh, you want to know how to use GitHub and Git, uh, which I'll be posting videos on how each of these work in the future. And then, uh, yeah, uh, there's plenty of other YouTube videos on this, on how to use GitHub or Git. If you don't have a GitHub account, I recommend creating one today if you're a computer science major, because this is one of the most important things you will be doing. And then um, be familiar with libraries, frameworks. Obviously, if you're starting out, no need to jump. Um, it's, it's very overwhelming at the start. So I would recommend really, um, really working towards the simple things. And then once you've mastered the simple things, you can move on to uh, more complex pieces of work. As far as acquiring um, experience, you want to try and if you can do internships or cooperative education opportunities like research work, that's really the best way. And I have a video, it's going to be down in the description on how to get a free virtual internship. So go ahead, check that out. And then you also want to keep working on projects, whether it's personal or open source. Um, you want to develop your skills, enhance your skills on uh, your portfolio and basically show off those personal and open source projects. So personal projects, I think most of you guys know what that is. Um, it's because it's, it's basically you created a website or an app or something from scratch by yourself or uh, with a team, but open source projects is basically an existing project that you add on to it, and then uh, you basically contribute to it through GitHub. That's one of the ways to do it. And then you wanna continue, uh, keep learning, and keep uh, professionally developing. So you wanna stay up to date with industry trends and new technologies, so you are a better fit for every job. As far as networking and building connection goes, you want to attend the industry events and conferences. So if you see an event as at your school, uh, you want to definitely hop on and try to attend that event. And then uh, joining professional organizations. So, so I wouldn't say professional. I'd say joining to school education or school organizations in general. So clubs the artificial intelligence club the software engineering club the cybersecurity club the data science club the game the gaming club i i don't know the game development club uh, whatever you can find it on your campus i would recommend joining one of those and that really helps you pop off on your resume and linkedin and then another networking tactic is to make sure you have a LinkedIn. I'm going to make a video on how to do that. But uh, there's plenty of other videos on YouTube on how to make an effective LinkedIn page. And we will go with that as well. But for now, um, keep connecting on people on LinkedIn. And then keep shooting the messages. Stay in touch. Or re respond to other people's posts on LinkedIn. And you'll eventually uh, meet more meet more people. And then for networking and building connections, another thing is make sure to become friends with your classmates, especially if you're a computer science major or software engineering major, because those are the people that are going to be in the industry. Those are the people who you might 
have a job with. So, sincerely, um, that's it. And then, preparing for the job market, you also want to have a good resume, strong resume. Um, I actually have a video on the resume aspect of it. Um, I did it a couple of days ago, I think. And then uh, portfolio, I'll be doing a video on the portfolio aspect. And then uh, these can be used to showcase your skills and experience um, in an ordinary and in an organized and easy to follow manner. And then remember to uh, prepare for interviews. So that would include um, doing leak code, practicing the uh, behavioral questions. So your your school probably has a um, probably has a career center uh, to some degree. And I would definitely recommend visiting that career center and seeing if you know they have resources for you doing that. So to basically wrap it together, we um, discussed if you want to specialize in a certain area, I give you the four areas. Uh, data science, cybersecurity, uh, game development, and the last one was was it data science? I forgot. Yeah. So, oh, so data science, cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, and game development, and then develop the technical skills so programming languages as well as um, github and git and then gain a practical experience by internships network and then prepare for the job market uh, through your resume and portfolio and then remember why you started and the endless possibilities that the field offers keep pushing and always strive to learn more and until next time, I'll see you guys. Uh, if you could drop a subscribe, if you could subscribe or and drop a, a like down below, that would greatly appreciate it. And yeah, have a great day, everyone.